So this program will just show you why it's uh, beneficial to use methods because uh, it saves you from doing repetitive code. Um, so just as an example, I'll do int hours to system dot print oh, dot out print enter a value between zero and twenty three. Okay. And then hours equals in dot next int. So that's pretty simple. Uh, and we'll do that while hours is less than zero or hours is greater than 23. So it's just asking the user to, um, you know, enter um, any number between this range, like within this range. And uh, we'll do this for, for uh, minutes as well. So that will be pretty similar. We can probably copy and paste that. Minutes. Okay. And it should be between zero and 59. Okay. And yeah, then how about we just print that to see what it looks like. Print hours. see oops how do I copy that there we go let's print line hours minutes okay zero and 23 uh, six zero and 59 and 45 six and 45 okay good so uh, basically it just each one runs at least once and if you're outside of the range like if I said 24 then I'll have me enter it again until I'm within that range and if I try to say like 100 say no okay 250 so that's it's kind of a simple program but it can be more simple with a method so what we'll do is make a new method and it will be outside of the main one here. So we'll do public static int because the return variable is an int integer and read int between and the parameter variables are int low, int high. So int input what the user enters and then uh, scanner in equals new scanner system dot in. So we need to use this line again. Um, and wait, am I outside of main? Yeah. So what is this error for? Okay. Oh, uh, and do system dot out dot print enter a value between and then this way the user can enter the, their own uh, range so there's more flexibility plus And input equals next, oh no, in dot next int. Okay, and this will run while input is less than low or input is greater than high. And return input. So this is why it was getting an error up here, it's because it was just saying. Um, you're asking for a, for a return type of an int. So it's just trying to find the int and that's where it is right here. So um, yeah, this is just a, an easier way of running the, the code. So now we can do read int between, okay. And then uh, let's 
let's do five and five hundred or five and fifty. Okay, and I'll just comment these out. We don't need to, or we can just comment all of this out. Don't really need it. So enter value between five and fifty. Ten. Did that work? Okay. Well, I think maybe it would be helpful to uh, to print something out here. So system dot out print input. Okay. Ten. Ten. Okay. Um, let's try again. One. No. Two. Three. One hundred. Seven, yeah, seven's between five and fifty, and now it's it's really flexible because you can do this for any any range. Uh, so let's do fifty and one hundred fifty. Um, forty, no, seventy, yes. Okay, so then it would just print that and return the input, and the loop is finished because. Uh, you entered a number that's within this range. So yeah, that's good.